Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today we will spoke about one of the most, three of the most powerful and functionality function in Excel. It will be XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Two of them are looking vertically, one of them horizontally uh, to our data. They are solving the problem when we want to try and want to find assigned data from other source in our Excel file. So let's start maybe from the newest function, which is HLOOKUP. Uh, yeah, so let's start right the function. Each lookup, uh, first argument is looking value. Oh, and once again, we are in supply chain data, the one from Kaggle, still the same, it's medical data. And uh, we have three worksheets divided by each of the function. So each, look, each lookup, and we are trying to look for POCO number, so purchase and sales order. And we are trying to uh, um, respond to two questions is each lookup, so about the INCO terms and about the ID number. So from each lookup worksheet, we try to find data in SMC dataset. So once again, maybe write, write, write it once again, each lookup, lookup value will be PO number. Oh, here we are. Then lookup array. So it is the column, I guess, right? Uh, return array, we're looking for INCO terms here. If not found, let's write like INCO term doesn't exist. Search mode, exact, exact match, and search first of us as usual. Right, that's it. Let's just drop down the old formula and let's check if we don't have any NAs. Yeah, so we don't have any. That means that we find everything from the data. It looks good. The second question is about the ID. The same formula, the same lookup value, the same lookup array that we're looking for data, which is uh, first from our column. So it's in um, A column, right? It's one of the first. And in D column, we have the reference. Uh, if not found, let's write it like ID doesn't exist. Okay, let's drop it to the down and let's see if we have any NAs. So we can easily see that the sequence of columns is not important for us in this formula. We can check the columns beyond and after our reference. The second one. I guess is the most used formulas in all Excel, so VLOOKUP, code VLOOKUP, looking value, table array, it's here, and we try to find the project code, so B call. If the logic should be correct, it should be mean minus 3, and then false, exact match. But what we can see is NA because VLOOKUP is a little bit different than each XLOOKUP. I mean, there is main two difference. First, the sequence should be after the reference column. So if you want to have this value, what we can do is mainly copy these three columns here, delete the, sorry, delete this column, paste it here, and once again write the code VLOOKUP Oh, sorry. Project code. Second column, we're looking for second one, false, and here we are. Then we have the value. The second main difference between X and V is that X uh, allow us to um, uh, to write what we want to have if we don't have the assigned data. So if, if there will be one data here, here we see this NA. The same situation here, it gives us what we write in a formula. Uh, how we can solve it, for example, if we have NA, we can write if error formula and then what we want to say back, like missing project, or we can check other formulas here. But this is the main difference between X and V. The third one, this is a format that I don't use often, but it's looking for horizontal data. So XLOOKUP, here I put the same data, but in with transport mode. Uh, 
and we're looking as well for Inco terms. So we'll write the code. It's very similar to VLOOKUP. They're almost the same in the syntax. So, oh, sorry. Used to, okay. Lookup value. Then tables run indexes two. And as usual, we want to have exact match. Here we are. Let's just copy and drop it to everything. And here we are. Data is completed. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.